Hi there everyone and welcome back to Boat McGrill. It's uh, Thursday afternoon and I'm actually planning on trying to get these uh, new supports in on this uh, on these three pieces here. Uh, I need to sand down uh, these uh, inner parts a little bit and then I so get a little uh, edge on them and then I'm gonna sand this part up here, uh, epoxy them in here and then just wait a couple of days to make sure that the epoxy is uh, cured and then come back in here and sand off and get ready for fiberglassing. Okay then, I prepared the pieces, I've sanded off the supports behind it and uh, now I have dried it off with acetone and cleaned everything off so it's time to mix some, some epoxy that I've already measured up over here and make sure that I uh, mix it up with some uh, colloidal silica 406. And as usually, I'm using the Nils Malmgren epoxy that I get from Epoxy Online. You can find a link down in the description, www.epoxy.online. Buy from them. So oh, now I'm just gonna let this uh, cure and uh, just uh, fair out and fill out and sand off these surfaces on top here so it's 100% uh, uh, flat. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow I can probably come up here uh, tomorrow evening and uh, fair off some 
other piece surface here that needs to be prepared for for the fiberglassing. And then next week, uh, just sand off the last here and start uh, the fiberglassing of these surfaces. Uh, the idea here is to come a little bit from the outside and go over here, down uh, in here, all on these open surfaces, and make sure that everything is glassed in well and uh, so that there can't be any uh, problem with water intrusions in the future. So it's uh, uh, Friday afternoon and I've just been up here uh, doing some work. Uh, unfortunately my camera screwed up so I'm just gonna show you a little bit of how it looks like right now. I sanded down all the uh, surfaces close to where pieces are in 90 degrees or similar and then I'm uh, mixed up some uh, thickened epoxy, uh, the enum epoxy with uh, uh, filler 51 uh, that makes it to, to a great uh, fairing compound and then I just filled up all of the uh, just like this what I've used is a one of these spatula thing, the tongue spatula, uh, and just fared the edge like that, and it's just perfect uh, radius on that. So I found another place there where I need to put some some of this fairing compound, uh, and therefore just can show you how you just like this. I'm just gonna let this sit now. It's gonna have to cure well until we can come back in here and do the last preparations for uh, fiberglassing. Uh, that's gonna be a uh, something to do next week. But I ordered another eight kilos of uh, epoxy, uh, and I'm gonna start to cut out the uh, surface pieces and stuff in here. Give everything a light sand, and then put on the. Uh, uh, fiberglass with the epoxy next week. One more thing that I'm going to do today is to fair uh, these surfaces here. As you can see there is a joint between the lower part of the wood and the upper part and there are some screw holes and stuff and uh, since all this is going to be glassed in too down to about here and I'm going to do that by using a easily sanded uh, compound and what I've used for that is uh, the 4010 uh, microlite. By that, uh, the fairing and the filleting is uh, pretty much done for the upcoming uh, fiberglassing. I'm just going to show you a little bit how it looks right now. So by that, 
give me a thumbs up if you like the video hit the subscription button down on your right side and put the notification bell on all so you don't miss any of my videos and take care everyone out there be safe and see you soon bye everyone